Chapter 4, 4.0 System Design, Part 18, Entity Relationship Diagram. Among the other design tools you can use in the logical design of the system is the Entity Relationship Diagram. Majority of students like to stick to the marking scheme as you might have already noticed apart from the flowchart other design tools are not featured in the marking scheme. Therefore this is to help understand that you can also include other design tools which makes your work unique. 4.1.3 Entity Relationship Diagram In this part we focusing on the Entity Relationship Diagram. We are still looking at system design which lies in Chapter 4. Earlier on we looked at the system flowchart which is still under system design in the Chapter 4. Data flow diagram was covered in Chapter 4 of the previous parts of this video series in this channel. If you missed check it up. 4.1.3 Entity Relationship Diagram Entity Relationship Models or models are used to show the relationships between entities in a system. They help to identify the key entities in the system and to show how these entities are related to one another. Our models can be used to help ensure that data is being properly captured and stored in the system and to identify any potential issues with the relationships between entities. 4.1.2 A nerd has its own set of symbols. The following are symbols used when drawing a nerd diagram. Entity this is an entity symbol used to show inputs and outputs. Attribute. An attribute is a property of an entity that we choose to record. For example attributes of customer entity may include social security number, name, address, date of birth etc. This is an arrow symbol used to show relationships between entities. Relationship. 4.1.3 Entity Relationship Diagram Case Study Consider a hospital. Patients are treated in a single ward by the doctors assigned to them. Usually each patient will be assigned a single doctor, but in rare cases they will have two. Healthcare assistants also attend to the patients. A number of these are associated with each ward. Initially the system will be concerned solely with drug treatment. Each patient is required to take a variety of drugs a certain number of times per day and for varying lengths of time. The system must record details concerning patient treatment and staff payment. Some staff are paid part-time and doctors and care assistants work varying amounts of overtime at varying rates subject to grade. The system will also need to track what treatments are required for which patients and when, and it should be capable of calculating the cost of treatment per week for each patient though it is currently unclear to what use this information will be put. What questions can we ask? A. Which doctors work in which wards? B. How much will be spent in a ward in a given week? C. How much will it cost a patient? D. What is the cost of maintaining a doctor per week? E. Which assistance can a patient expect to see? F. Which drugs are being used and what is their cost per unit? Add cardinality to the relations. Many-to-many -many relationships must be resolved to two one-to-many relationships with an additional link entity. B. This flexibility allows us to consider a variety of questions such as I. Which beds are free? E. Which assistants work for doctor? X. E. What is the least expensive prescription? I. V. How many doctors are there in the hospital? V. Which patients are family-related? 5. Represent that information with symbols. Generally ER diagrams require the use of the following symbols, NB. These symbols are not static and may vary. An example of an entity relationship diagram. A. Figure 2.5. Patient. Ward. OR. Figure 2. 7A. Hospital case. Bird diagram without cardinality constraints. Patients. Doctors. Assistants, wards, seen by, C, treated in, house, seen by, C, associate, associate with, figure 2.7b, an example of an entity relationship diagram, OR, figure 2, 7a, hospital case, bird diagram without cardinality constraints, patients, doctors, assistants, wards, seen by, C, Treated in. House. Seen by. C. 
associate, associate with, figure 2.7b. 4.1.3 How do we start an entity relationship diagram? A. Step 1. Define the entities. 1. Start by identifying the main entities in the system. For example, entities in Marengo Sports Club system could include A. Club members B. Games C. Sports equipment D. Events. An entity is a person, place, object, event, or concept about which the organization wishes to record data. 4.1.3 How to create an entity relationship diagram. Step 2. Define relationships between these entities, such as A. A club member can participate in multiple games. B. A game can have multiple club members participating in it. C. A club member can purchase multiple sports equipment items. D. A sports equipment item can be purchased by multiple club members. E. An event can involve multiple club members in multiple games. F. A game can be played in multiple events. G. Club members can belong to a sub-county H. Sub-county can have multiple club members I. Club members can belong to a school college J. School college can have multiple club members K. Each game can have one patron. L. Each patron can be assigned to multiple games. M. Each game can have one game captain. N. Each club member can be assigned as game captain for multiple games. Relationships are usually verbs used in descriptions of the system. 4.1.3 Sample 1 Marengo Sports Club Entity Relationship Diagram Member Sport Item Games Patron Captain Subcounty Events Equipment Request Appoints Responsible Facilitate Participate Joins Purchase Responsible Book Belong in the Marengo Sports Club system, there are several entities and relationships that exist. The main entities in the system are 1. Members. These are individuals or groups of youths aged 12 to 35 who enroll for various sports activities offered by the club. Members provide their personal details, interests, and special needs during registration. 2. Sports. The different sports activities offered by the club such as swimming, hockey, table tennis, basketball, among others. Each sport has a patron who facilitates events within and outside the club. 3. Store items. The sports equipment and merchandise offered for sale at the club store. 4. Patron. Each sport has a patron who facilitates events within and outside the club and earns a commission from the facilitation fees charged for playing external teams. 5. Team Captain The patron selects a team captain responsible for borrowing and returning sports equipment from the store. 6. Purchases Records of items sold at the club store. The relationships between these entities are as follows. 1. Members can enroll as individuals or groups. 2. Each sport has a patron who facilitates events within and outside the club. 3. The patron selects a team captain responsible for borrowing and returning sports equipment from the store. 4. The store clerk maintains records of items sold, and if any item stock drops to 20% of its maximum level, the club management is alerted for reordering. 5. A team facilitation fee of KSH 500 is charged for playing external teams, and the patron earns a 20% commission from the total facilitation fee. 6. In case of loss or damage to the equipment, the captain and team members are surcharged at the market value plus 10%. 7. These relationships ensure that the Marengo Sports Club system operates smoothly and efficiently, with all entities and processes interconnected to achieve the overall goals of the system.
for watching and stay tuned for part 19 on the structured chart diagram still under design tools used in the system design. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if the video was helpful to get notifications once we upload more videos on Moringo Sports Club.